Hi, and welcome back to this final episode in the series of our study on the 23rd Psalm. Let us look at the last verse today. It reads as follows, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. That verse speaks of the shepherd's goodness and mercy towards his sheep and his eternal ownership of his flock. As we studied the preceding verses, we saw the changing landscape from green pastures and still waters to the darkest valleys and times of despair to a table prepared to level pastures where sheep can comfortably graze. The point is, while the landscape of our lives will change from one season to the other, and that we will encounter ups and downs in life, one thing will always remain constant, and that is God's goodness and mercy and His eternal ownership of us as the sheep of His pasture. Let us take a moment to ponder on those words, goodness and mercy. You and I are absolutely unworthy of God's goodness towards us. He extends His goodness to us when we do not deserve it. What we deserve is His judgment and wrath. But then is when He extends His mercy to us. His goodness and mercy follows us all the days of our lives because we belong to Him. That is such a blessing. But we rarely even take time to think about it and even thank Him for it. At this juncture in human history, what we see around us is the fallout from the pandemic, the Russia-Ukraine war, the economic downturn, the joblessness, the homelessness, the hunger and starvation, the mental health pandemic that has affected millions of people, if not billions of them. The impression I get when I watch the news of such human tragedy is that of a butcher poking and prodding his sheep from behind as he drives them to the abattoir to be slaughtered. The, that terrible scenario will only turn worse when the Antichrist comes on the scene, which will not be long from now. In contrast, the Good Shepherd always walks in front of the sheep and the sheep follow his voice. Do we remember what the Good Shepherd said in John chapter 14 and verse 3 that he was going ahead to prepare a place for us and that he would return? so that we could be where He is. Here is what is recorded in the book of Revelation, chapter 16, verses 16 and 17. Let me read it to you. Never again will they hunger. Never again will they thirst. The sun will not beat down on them, nor any scorching heat. For the Lamb at the center of the throne will be their shepherd. He will lead them to springs of living water. Let us pray. Father God, how thankful we are to you because we are assured that goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives. We will be with you forever. In the precious, holy and matchless name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I pray. Amen.